Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, aluminum carbide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we will take it from there. So let's first work with aluminum. So I scan the periodic table to see where aluminum is, and aluminum is right here, right? Aluminum is represented as an Al, and it's in this group. So aluminum will have a plus three charge. It will lose three electrons. So I'm gonna say that I have Al, and it's a plus three. So that's all done. Now I see that I have carbide. It's an IDE ending, which chances are means that it's going to be a nonmetal on the periodic table. So I look for something that starts with carb, right? And I see that I have carbon. So carbon is right here. Carbon is represented as C, and it would be carbide when it gets named because the nonmetals get the IDE ending. Now in this case, you have two choices. You could either be a plus four or a negative four, right? But remember, ionic compounds, one has to be positive, and the other one that you choose has to be negative. So this carbon has to be the negative four form, right? Positive and negative. Now, since you have both components, we do this little trick where we crisscross the charges just to say how many of each element I need. So this plus three crisscrosses down, telling me that I need three of the carbons, and then this negative four crisscrosses down, telling me that I need four aluminums. When you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges anymore. They kind of go bye-bye. You're just basically looking at your subscripts. So now I'm ready to write my formula. I have aluminum. I need four of them. So I put a four here and then I have carbon and I have three of them. So I have to put that three there. And now I'm done. Look how easy that was, guys. So aluminum carbide is just Al4C3. Thank you for viewing the video. I really hope you're doing well, and I hope you're studying hard. And you guys got this, all right? Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. And yeah, I'll be talking to you later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.